Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun project. So let's get cracking. Friends, it is spooky season, so let's create a new Code Blocks pumpkin. Step one is always to name it. Let's put the word pumpkin up here. And let's also put our initials just in case your teacher wants to print it. In Code Blocks, we build with something called templates. We're going to click right here on Create New Template, and we're going to create our pumpkin. Of course, tell it OK. We're going to define the pumpkin up here, and we're going to use the template at the bottom. We're going to use a sweet chunk of code called Count With. And we're going to go from 1 to 6. Our pumpkin shell is going to be created with a sphere. Bring that out. Open up its properties. Of course, let's make it some sort of orange. Let's give it a radius of 15. And let's also change the steps to 36. To get this where we want, we're going to use modify commands. So the first thing we're going to do is move and we're going to do a Z of 15. We choose that number because the diameter is 30, so half of 15 will get this up at the top. Real quickly, I'm going to hit play so you can see this once. There is our sphere happening again and again in the exact same spot. I'm also going to speed this up so from now on it goes faster. So we have got it to 0, 0. Because of this move, friends, now we're going to squish it so it looks more like a pumpkin, and we're going to rotate it. We do that with a scale command. Friends, we need to take the Y and we need to type 0.4 and press enter. Make sure you remember that zero or it does not work. Also under modify, we're gonna add a rotate. This has got to go around Z. Make sure you swap that. And then we're gonna switch to math, bring out the math block. And instead of 90 degrees, we're gonna change this to multiplication and it's going to be the variable i times 30. We can then grab this chunk, drop it in there, also bring out the axis of 0, 0, 0, and friends, when you hit play, bingo, you all of a sudden have the shell of a pumpkin. How cool is that? So our pumpkin is looking wicked cool. Friends, let me show you how to hollow it out. We are going to do duplicate down here, now, friends, we need to take this second one and make it smaller. So we're going to modify and we're going to scale it. I'm going to tell you the number to type is 0 0.9. And then, of course, we need to make it a hole. The way to do that is with the set color block. When you bring this out, switch it to a hole, bring out a group, and hit play. And bingo, it will make the original pumpkin and then on the inside, it'll make the copy of the pumpkin, and we'll prove in just a second that it's hollow. Friends, now that you got a pumpkin, let me show you how to carve it. We are going to create another piece from a template. When you create this one, we are going to call nose. Tell it OK. Of course, we need to define the nose, and then later we'll use it. We'll just move it down here for a moment. I'm going to tell you that the fun piece we're going to use for a nose is this roof. Bring it out, pop it in, make it a hole, expand its properties. I'm going to tell you, after a lot of trial and error, 8 is a good length, and then we're going to scale it to make it look the way we want. Bring out the scale XYZ. And once again, after trial and error, I'm giving you this one for free. The rest is going to be a challenge. We use 0 0.25, 1.5, 0 .5 for those measurements. We also need to move it, and we're going to adjust it so that it pokes out nice and easy. Once again, we're going to do that with a move command. And the numbers I want you to use here are negative 12, and 22 for how high it goes. Remember, we have got 15 for our radius, so this entire pumpkin is 30 high. Now, to put this in place, we can simply set it right here. When we hit play, check it out. Here comes our pumpkin. There's where they do the inside. It groups, and bingo, there would be our nose. Now, that is a good start, but I want the point of the nose down. So we're going to bring out a rotate out here. 
and I want to rotate that nose 180 degrees on the x-axis. So there's my 180. I simply bring out my math pivot of keeping the 0, 0 for where it rotates around. Now when we check this out, you'll see our nose looks like a nose would, and we can just adjust the height of it with a move command. And I'm going to move it Z instead of 0. I'm going to guess that this middle of 15 is pretty cool, so I'm going to try 16. Once again, a lot of guess and check as you get these parts exactly where you want. Now that went up Z from this old 22, so really what I want to do is negative 4. Let's see how that looks. Not bad. Let's try negative 7. And that I am pretty happy with. When you want to see what it looks like grouped, you can simply bring out a group command and pop it in just like that. Bingo, we have cut a nose into our pumpkin. That is also the first time you get to double check and see if yours turned out hollow with these commands up here. Now, friends, this is the rest of the challenge. You need to use these skills to make eyes, a mouth, a stem, and anything else you can come up with. And you need to do the same technique where you make a template for each one and then include the templates down below. You can move these templates up to keep them arranged. You can also collapse them so that they stay easier to arrange. Once you've got them built, that gives you a lot more room to play as you build your awesome code blocks project. Once you've got them in place, you can bring them down here and arrange them. You can also throw this one away until you want to group it at the end to make things go just a little bit faster. As you're looking at shapes, you can make teeth with those roof. You can make eyes with the roof. You can make eyes with the round roof. This could also be an eyebrow. You've got the fun wedge. You could do silly things with a tube. You could cut a heart into yours, maybe a star. All these parts that you can play with as you create your awesome jack-o'-lantern. Don't forget as you modify them, you've got the rotate, you've got the scale commands. And of course, the move commands that you use guess and check until your pumpkin looks absolutely epic. Friends, as I wrap up, I just want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. And then below that, you can find my day one favorites and also useful starters. And then finally, the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, also at the bottom corner, I want to share the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, don't forget the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.